when you look at KP's play style <laughs> and Mako's play style, it's like, I'd be pretty shocked if they swap those heroes. No, that's what you go. Yeah, this is the uh, hype. Monkey. It's going to be Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, and GX, Monkey King is the last pick. you'll be looking for is onto that mid level six already up on lackety he's got the dragon form ready he can look to pressure tower they are getting some rotations down bot though tp in from q not gonna give any openings to jump savage they know there's a big threat with a mana burn creep they get the nightmare off onto music who will just dash away but here comes q with the cogs and the battery salt and that should be a nice clean kill onto show cam no way out but a bad result running. Q will get that kill for himself, and Savage will just get back to farm. They don't have the chain stuns to really jump on top of an ember, and they don't have the levels on Boom Boy to get the burst off. So some contesting here onto the stacks. Nightmare out onto Jokam. So they've got the cogs and battery salt once more. Jokam trying to run into the creep wave, and Boom Boy is here to cut them off. Ward is down to mitigate some damage. Not quite enough to really stop this. As the damage is still there. Boom Boy trying to get his own damage off, but Q just manages to walk it off no issues off lane here yeah do you feel like they have the answer to this Deuce? because right now i'm looking at this and it feels like Deuce is just getting absolutely everything she wants potentially even kills here as q comes in they're looking for the kill on mizu's dark seer and this is one thing clockwork so good at locks the dark seer in finds another kill this Deuce is just getting everything in this safe lane just side of town playing a bit safe kp is a bit forward here Clearing out the camps and could be the Yo, target. There's the blink reveal on the Dragon Knight. They're going on KP. Have they got the damage for this? He's got Spirit Side with three hero silence as well. He's going to life drain his way back up and with a TP out, they have got a vacuum. I think Doom for a second, they thought he was going to have to ulti, but Mizu was ready with a the vacuum. They get the kill, but three hero smoke reveal, a nice kill. Okay, but also the Doom now as well. So Darkseer going for this Aghanim's build. It's going to be looking to fight, fight, fight. He's found a Doom target in the Bane here. Level 6 Bane was going on a bit of a warding mission, I guess, and Jokam was there waiting for him. So, early use of the Doom, but nonetheless, it is a kill, and I think right now... Take what you can get. Smoke out here from Tal now, though, knowing that the Doom is down, and they've got an opportunity. It's going to be a little Pugna kill, it looks like, as Clockwork's there with the find. Still has Hookshot if they want to try and follow this up with any more towers or objectives they've got. And with just how tanky a DK gets with that Iron Shell plus HP. Alacrity does find a good target here. Again, on to Hyde. Hyde, once again, uh, off on his own, doing some some warding once again, I guess. <laughs> you know, the first time we didn't see how it started, this time we kind of got a better idea of him just what space created for, for Hyde there. And pretty much, Nakata. Yeah, he's almost solo killing Boom Boo. The ancient damage coming in as well. Is he going to go for this one? <laughs> Oh, Blink Dragon Tail, oh. Alacrity, he maybe had got enough damage to get this kill, but could a big mistake in the enemy ancients by himself, and he feeds away a kill. I mean, that's pretty much it. The counter doesn't present itself, and there are a lot of ways to scout. You've got Clockwork with a flare. They're going for the smoke out here in yeah. town, though. What can they find here? Five-man smoke out. They want to try to bypass some of those wards. We're just seeing they found the Dragon Knight with the Searing Chain setup. They get the hookshot follow-up, and Alacrity doesn't have any kind of a BKB yet, so he gets brought down with ease. Nice five-man smoke. We had the Observer showing some of the, the great... Well, they do at least have Jokam blinking. They could have a good angle here. Yep. In the jungle, KP playing aggressive Ooh. here. They, they found Jokam, but that found the strike. will cancel the grip here, and the DK now in the front lines with an Iron Shell on, but he's just not tanky enough to fight through the Spirit side because this is without the Exorcism. They're just dropping like flies here. The Wukong's command gets evaded. Talon just choosing to fight on the outskirts of it, and now they've stopped the TP of Mizu. Darkseer going to be a third casualty as this fight... Just falls apart for Enigma Galaxy and Talon. Gonna be feeling really happy with it. Like to play with a vac wall combo into Wukong's, but until that point, it feels like you're gonna be looking more for skirmishes here on NGX, if any at all. Yeah. I'm more surprised looking up that's only a 3k gold lead. It feels like more as they found a target up top, Dragon Tail into a Doom Makoto. This one less of a mistake than his previous death, but there's gonna be a counter kill on the other side of the map. This one just to support though. But a nice little setup at top. The stun initiation. Just bleed out this control outside. Yeah. The issue is the uptime for Medusa is as long as she's alive, 100%. So, and uh, killing her is going to be the tricky part. But 
Now we're going to see, you know, all this defensive itemizations. Medusa had the Lincoln skew up. Ember finished the Lincoln, so you can't really make that Dragon Tail into Doom play as easily. And then we had Death Prophet, who had, a, I believe, a Lotus Orb queued up. So they're going for all these single target defensive items as Yokan gets jumped in the jungle. He went for the Doom, but he didn't know about the Lincoln. So not that I think he was going to get that kill anyways, but Doom gets blocked there by the Lincoln's in. Catching more than Savage is going to be a bit tricky. They will go for it. Yep, they pull it back in with the vacuum here, but KP charges forward with a BKB. He's got the Exorcism going with the Spirit Siphon. He's doing so much damage to the Darks here. Darks is going to melt to start off this fight. No buyback available. Doom respawning soon, but without a Doom. And Deuce is just going to use the Stone Gates to disengage from top. Hope see who they distribute that to, but NGX just stuck in their base. They do have wards watching outside their base, which could allow them to get a stronger defensive fight and catch the side of Talon off guard. Yeah, doesn't look like they'll get... That's a lot of big ifs, and oh, we're going to be seeing that put to test here as they've got some initial Medusa illusions, but 23 Savage and KP just going to put themselves on the high ground with Exorcism and Medusa right clicks. They're challenging Nigma Galaxy C to do something to defend this, and there's just nothing they can do. They're just watching their base die, and it's hard to blame them too much. They're going to go in with a vacuum wall. The Doom tries to follow it up, but he immediately gets slipped up and controlled. He's getting gripped now as well. Hyde's just sitting in Invis while he grips the Doom, doesn't let him get it off. He does have buyback here, as does the Darks here, so they all will come back in, and with the Wukong plus wall, the self on the high ground while smoked here is the Dusa and the Cody. They're just going to, yeah. Show themselves and basically once again challenge Nigma Galaxy to make a play. They go in, they look oh. to get the Doom off, and they succeed. Ember doesn't get his BKB off. He does get four stops and Grimmett back to safety. And while all this is going on, Medusa, of course, going ignored. The wall, you do have Wukongs ready, and the wall will be up relatively shortly. So if you've got some play, Savage. Darkseid blinks in with a punch. He gets Savage low. He's going to at least die once, it looks like. They should have the damage here, but the hook shot coming Ooh. in on the backline's Q. Has found Boom Bell and he's just gonna drop like a little squishy Pugna. And Medusa is back with full health and mana and the BKB. There's just nothing to deal with her on her second life here. Boom Bell's bought back on the Pugna trying to keep his DK alive, but it's just too little too late. As 23 Savage pushes a three versus five, there is just no chance in hell of defending this. Talon may even go for the tier fours here. They don't have Aegis, but two heroes dead without buyback for 30 plus seconds. This this may just be game. Yeah. Uh, there, there's no threat of Doom, no threat of Wukong, so wall. Oh, oh shot. Oh, huge. Cogs keeps him outside the base. He can't pull stuff back in. He tries to, but the Cogs, a wall, locking them out of the fountain. And it's absolutely brutal. Nigma oh, Galaxy no. being hunted in their own base, in their own fountain. GG is called. And game three convincingly goes Talon's way. This looked like a breeze for them. It certainly did. NGX, they came up with this idea of Dark Seer Doom offlane. It feels like it could be aggressive. You know, that's a comfort pick for Mizu. But Talon just go back to their own comfort. KPDP that he played a ton of in the past tours. They go back to the Savage Dusa, have stable win conditions, Mikado and the Ember. And they just get really aggressive. And they know what they have to do on the sports as well. Q and Hyde were copying a few of those early engagements. Hyde, especially in the lane, was being sacrificed and able uh, Savage to get that farm up. And eventually, he just managed to...